Santo! Sorry folks, when I wear this people think I'm a fireman this time of day. Fix the microphone like I'm putting out a fire. How y'all doing tonight? Welcome to Corridor Comedy Club. I'm hizzy. <laughs> the other day I was reading the newspaper and I read this article about how this young man-child mental defective ate a hot dog and choked to death on it. And there was a great uproar, there was all these parents groups like, Oh, you gotta put hot dog warning labels on the hot dogs! Oh, you're gonna choke on it! Ah. What are they gonna put on there? Like, danger, this is a hot dog. Please chew before swallowing. <laughs> That's silly, I mean, you know, it was one guy, people gotta spend millions of dollars to put labels on the hot dog wrappers. You know, they gotta hire a graphic artist to draw one of those universal precaution drawings so everyone can understand it. Like, you know when you're standing in front of the Coke machine and there's that sticker and there's the guy on there that's like... <laughs> from when you rock the Coke machine and get crushed to death? Well, they gotta do that for the hot dog. They gotta draw some line drawing of a little fat boy cramming a hot dog wiener into his lungs. I wanna see the guy that draws that thing. The warning label they really should have on there says, Hey, you're about to eat a hog hole and stuff with rat tits, so you might want to be careful and not eat it at all. <laughs> maybe, maybe you'd be better off choking on the rat tits than actually eating them in the first place, so maybe they should put that on the hot dog label. Hot dog! So, I don't have a television anymore, I used to. Now that they stopped giving those airwaves anymore, I don't really get to watch TV anymore. But when I did, I liked to watch the Animal Planet. They used to have a channel called Plant Planet, but it was only on for one day because nobody watched it. But on the Animal Planet, they have animals. And they're uh, always portrayed as the villain in the story, when in fact we know that often the human is the villain. For example, when children molest goldfish. That happens a lot more than you know. But no one talks about it, especially the fish. <laughs> but if I was going to make some shows on the animal planet, I'd maybe make one called To Catch a Predator. And we get that guy, Chris Hansen, and we dress him up in a sheep costume, and we put him in a field at night, alone. And then the audience will text message in a poll as to whether Chris Hansen gets doo -doo -doo eaten by wolves doo -doo -doo or raped by an Irishman. <laughs> Maybe we can have another show on there called Douchebag Shark Attack. You know, we get some of those guys, they got a spray tan on, they spend a little too much time in the gym holding hands with their friends and looking in the mirror. They got the tribal tattoos, they got the spiky hair with highlights. They have sunglasses nestled gently into the spiky hair. Or they have on a white hat, which is completely backwards, or it's put on their head and it's turned just a little bit to the sun. <laughs> we get a bunch of these clods and we put them in a shank with... Put them in a shank? Put them in a tank with a live, angry shark. And the format of the show is very similar to one of those bachelorette shows, but instead of every week one of the douchebags getting rejected by a blonde bipolar eight, they get eaten by a fucking shark. And everyone's a winner. We have another show on there called, this one's for the ladies. This show is called Ape Rape. That's where we get like, 15 hookers or so, we put them naked in a room with a, a young male orangutan, and the first whore to get ape rape wins a van and a mattress. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, and I know what you're thinking, and you're right. Blacks dominate the sport of ape rape too. <laughs> They took golf, ape rape is next. 
And the point of all of that, children, you must learn, is that sharks are not rapist sex offenders. Racist sex offenders. <laughs> or rapists. Sharks! So when I was a kid, I liked uh, sci-fi, like lasers and explosions and spaceships and all that stuff. But I really liked the Transformers. The Transformers are awesome. They had like... My favorite Transformers were the ones that would combine into a big super Transformer, like the Constructicons. Like, you got like a bulldozer and a cement mixer and a front end loader and a back row and a big crane. They all combine to form Devastator. It's like 10 times bigger than all the other Transformers. They kick everybody's ass and fuck you up in this prime Devastator. <laughs> what if there was a Transformer that combined and it was like a donut? and a rack of ribs, and a turkey leg, and a bowl of gravy, and a french fries, and a funnel cake, and a microwave burrito, and a meatball sandwich, and maybe some crab or rangoon. And they all combined forces to be Monique. Yep. As you can tell, I love hippies, from the context clues that I've given you so far. I love hippies. I love the power of hippies. I think hippies have a lot of potential. They can really do something to this world. Everyone's like, oh, they just sit around and smoke pot and they have jobs and go to the hairline and all that. No. All right. What we can do is we get all the hippies together, all of them together in unity at some big hippie jam band festival, and we start feeding them into like a big sausage grinding machine, and it's like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We take that material and we render it down into a crude biofuel that we can use to power our armies of darkness into the new millennium. Am I right? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah, I like it a little more. Uh, you know, it's Al Gore's idea. I mean, his, his last name is Gore. His last name is not Puppies and Sunshine. It's fucking Gore. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't go to any hippie jam band festival that I organized. Instead of three days of peace, love, and music, it will be three minutes of screaming, attack dogs, and night sticks. Yes. We... If you do not join up and get in the tanks, we're going to grind you up and put you in the tanks. The cast of Precious could power our armies of darkness for three years alone. Thank you very much. My name is Michael Nantino. Let's get Michael Nieto, everybody. Come on, put your fucking hands together. It's not that hard.